Hey, what do you say, my fellow weekend warriors? Today we're gonna do another pellet talk video where I talk about some of my favorite pellets and my favorite blends. So let's get started with these pellets. So right here I've got my five favorite Pit Boss blends. Why Pit Boss? Because it's readily available. I can get most of these at Walmart. I can go to Lowe's. I can go to Menards. And so there's other manufacturers of pellets out there. And if that's what you have readily available, that's awesome. Everything I'm gonna talk about applies no matter which brand you buy. So just real quick, I'll show you each one of these. This one here is the fruit blend. We'll talk a little bit more about this one in a minute. This one right here is the competition blend. More on that coming up. This one here is the hickory blend. All right, this guy is the whiskey barrel blend. Really love this stuff. We'll be talking about that in a minute. And then last but not least, this is the charcoal blend. If you can find these, I really love these as well. So those are the five, and now we're gonna dive into the fruit wood blend. All right, so this is a 30 pound bag. I got it from Walmart. You can see here it's got cherry, apple, and maple. Okay, so this blend, I use it mostly uh, when I'm doing pork, but it's great for pork, fish, chicken. You could even use it on red meat in a pinch. And one of the things that really stands out about this guy is the cherry. So cherry goes good with just about anything. And the flavor it produces is this nice, light, and sweet aroma. If you were to just smoke with cherry, it creates a really dark mahogany color. So it might discolor your chicken or pork, make it really dark. And so what Pit Boss has done is they've blended this with apple, which will mellow out that color a little bit. And apple, again, is another um, very mild, subtle, sweet fruit wood. It's ideal for poultry, beef, and pork. So these two real nice, light, sweet. And then maple, same thing. It's a very mild, it's on the lighter side. And if you were just gonna smoke with maple, it would be good with poultry, uh, wild game, vegetables, and even cheeses. Maple's really good for smoked cheese. And with any of these that we're talking about today, you gotta think of smoke as just one ingredient in the whole thing. Your meat is an ingredient, your seasonings are an ingredient, and your smoke. And when you get just enough of each, that's what creates that really awesome barbecue that we all love. And let me break open this bag, show you what the pellets look like real quick. All right, let me get a small handful out here. And what we'll do is set each one side by side so we can see what the differences are. So one thing you look for with pellets is they should be nice and shiny. If they've lost that shine, get another bag. That means they've been sitting too long. The humidity's gotten to them. So we got some short pieces, long pieces, pretty typical. And it'll be interesting to see once we compare these side by side, the little subtle differences. So that's our fruit blend. Move that to the side. All right, so our next one is the competition blend. This one by far is the one I use the most because that's the one everyone seems to have in stock all the time. It's really good. And so this one is just slightly different than the fruit blend. This has got hickory, maple, and applewood. And so the only real difference is we changed out cherry for hickory. We talk about barbecue rubs that are all purpose meaning you could use it on anything. That's what this is. You could put this, I don't care if it's beef, fish, poultry, wild game. If you're baking pizzas, it's gonna be really good. The hickory pellets that are in here produce a, a stronger smoke and it gives off a really nice, sweet, savory aroma combined with kind of a soft, fruity undertone. You can get these in 40 pound bags and they typically go for about 14 or $15 a bag. So let's get a handful of these out and compare that to the fruit blend. So looking at these, they're almost identical. If we look at each one here, really can't tell the difference in color. And like I said, the only difference between the two is one has cherry and one has hickory. So fruit blend, competition blend, and now let's take a look at hickory. So that's in this bag here. My understanding is that the hickory blend is 50% hickory, 50% oak. It's really hard to get information online about these. So if you guys know different, let me know in the comments. I love this one. If I'm doing a, a chuck roast or a brisket, beef, sometimes even ribs, 
This is a nice, strong smoke. And I would say you wanna go hickory or mesquite if you've been used to smoking maybe in an offset stick burner where those big pieces of wood can put out more smoke flavor. A lot of times people get a pellet smoker and they say they can't taste the smoke. And there could be a lot of different reasons for that. But what I would say to do then is try the stronger smoke flavor pellets. And hickory gives it that nice, almost even bacon flavor to it. It's just a real deep, rich smoke flavor. These come in 20 pound bags. I typically get mine from either Walmart or Lowe's. So let me break this one open and we'll take a look at uh, the differences between this and the other ones. All right, here we go. Now immediately I can already see a difference. These are much, much darker. Still have the nice shine on them. All different sizes. Basically what happens is these bags get tossed around shipping, trucks, delivery, and they break, which is why you will see me in my last pellet talk video where I sift the pellets to get all these little tiny fines out of there. And then I just use the fines as a fire starter when I'm lighting up my charcoal drum smoker or my charcoal grills, I'll just toss it in there. So definitely darker. This is the hickory, this is the competition blend, and this is the fruit blend. All right, next up is gonna be the whiskey barrel. These are probably my favorite pellets of any of the Pit Boss pellets. It's 50% oak, 50% whiskey barrel, which is also oak. And just think about those whiskey barrels. You got all that whiskey going in and out of the wood, and eventually those flavors get trapped in there. And I just love the aroma that comes out of the smoker. Reminds me of like a really nice steakhouse where they're cooking steaks on one of those giant wood grills with some oak. So these come in 20 pound bags and they're only available at Menards. I believe Home Depot sells these under the other Danson's brand, which is called Louisiana Grills. But I think, I think this blend here, this is a rock star, especially on beef. I mean, it tastes so good. You wanna do a chuck roast. The strength of the smoke would be, in my opinion, on the higher side of medium. So not quite as strong as hickory or mesquite. It's just underneath there. And then it also has that nice sweet flavor and aroma from the whiskey barrel. These are really, really good. If you have the Menards by you, I definitely recommend you check these out. So let's break this bag open and compare it to the other ones. And these are definitely lighter than the Hickory. I would say these whiskey barrel look closer to the competition blend. Now that I've got four out in front of me and level of darkness, this is probably number two. So it probably goes fruit wood, whiskey barrel, competition blend, and then hickory. So that hickory must be darkening these, both in the straight hickory and the competition blend. But other than that, you know, same size pieces, nice and smooth and shiny, just what you want. And now for the charcoal pellets. These were a game changer for me this summer. Before I ever had a pellet smoker, I was using charcoal grills. I got a PK grill. I've had Weber grills in the past. I've got a charcoal drum smoker behind me. I love that charcoal smoke flavor. And so when Pit Boss introduced these earlier this summer, I jumped right on it. These go good with any kind of protein you're gonna smoke. I think the only thing it doesn't go good with is if you're gonna do some kind of baking, which would be really rare for me. And I'll use these just straight, dump them in the hopper, or I will mix them, which is what we're gonna talk about in a minute. But just in case you haven't seen these before, I'll break this bag open and show you the major difference between this and the rest of them. So let's do that. Here's the charcoal. And if you guys wanna see a video just on these, I did a video on that. I'll leave that up in the info card. Same with the whiskey barrel. I did a video on that as well. But you can see here how much different this is because it's blended with charcoal. So you got hardwood and charcoal in there. And I just love smoking with these, a lot of fun brings back memories of the old charcoal smokers. And this is where we can start talking about blending these together. My recommendation, if you're starting out and you just wanna dabble a little bit, I like to do a 50% charcoal and a 50% competition blend, or 50% charcoal and 50% fruit wood blend. Those two mixed together are just fantastic. So I'm gonna do that right now, just a small batch, and show you what that looks like. All right, so you see you got two buckets here. This is the one that I sift and collect all the fines. So just very quickly, I'll put my sifting pan right on top and I'll dump in some of the competition blend. Just use my hand to push through all those tiny pieces. Give it a little shake. And then these go into this bucket. And 
now the same thing with the charcoal. Dump these in. And then I just mix by hand. And it's important to mix them here. If you just dump them both into your smoker, who knows what kind of mix you'll get. So do it here and then you can dump it in. And there's a close up for you. Let's see how that looks. Nice and simple. I think you guys will really like the results from mixing like this. And this is just a fun way to experiment in the backyard. Just have some fun with it. You could go online. There's all kinds of different blends that people like to try. Figure out one that you guys like. And hey, if you guys like this video, check out one of my other two pellet talk videos and I'll see you over there.